chips? Who needs chips? That's a good question, and the answer is... What's up, everybody? This is Afterlist coming to you with another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Um, for ships. Who needs them? The answer is everyone. Everyone needs ships. And they are what will help you a ton in the early game. Uh, ships can can and possibly will be your main income for crystals. So if you can get high enough in the fleet arenas early game, because you get paired in the same pod with people that start around the same time that you are, or at least hit the level 85 the same time that you do. Um, so if you can get high ranked in there, you can get enough fleet arena and crystals to be able to do your refreshes and um, basically try to get your Zetas as well. Uh, crystals will help you with your refreshes for character shards, gear, mods, anything you can possibly think of. All those refreshes are very vital, especially early game. And a little tip, Fleets 101. Farm the Hound's Tooth as soon as it becomes available. So with the starting three ships, uh, three cow ships to choose from, you have the home one, the executrix, and the endurance. Out of these three starters, home one and, and executrix are the best. And Endur endurance, that's like the Venusaur of the starter Pokemon for ships. It's just there. Nobody wants it. Um, honestly, compared to the other two, it will lose majority of the time because Rebels can actually keep attacking and keep going at it. And then with Executrix, you end up just stalling the whole game out until it's over. The home one. Um, this fleet goes to a whole nother level once you get the Millennium Falcon. Uh, these capital ships are great until you get um, until you get to the profundity. Then these ships will leave the home one and they will go to the profundity. And then you'll take some other kind of rebel ships and kind of put them with um, the home one. There's technically only needed five ships once you get to the profundity. Um, you can throw more in there, but honestly, you can counter a lot of uh, executors and all that stuff with just five ships. The next ship is the Executrix. Um, with the main thing being uh, the Houndstooth being out there, you got the Geonosian ships that are a great early game. Um, and then the two droid ships and then Boba ship. This ship will not be together long. All these ships will branch out um, once you achieve the Malevolence and the Executor. You lose five of these ships just to Malevolence. That's all you need for that ship. Um, so once you get to it, it's pretty much it. And then you have the Endurance. So Endurance, it has some of the best ships available. But every ship that you use for Endurance will go to the Negotiator as soon as you unlock it. Um, then you'll never use the Endurance again. I'm not kidding either. Every single ship. You got your beta ships. Um, basically, I call these ships the steal your stuff because they take everything from other fleets. I do hate calling these ships betas, but compared to the alphas, it is true. Even though it is a hard pill to swallow saying that. Um, these capital ships, though, like I said, they steal whole fleets from other ships. So with a negotiator, you will take every single ship away from the endurance. Uh, this ship, this fleet, is very good all around. It can do anything you want it to do. It can heal. It can counter a bunch of different things. Um, it is a great ship to have. Most of the time, this will be your first fleet capital ship that you will get to seven star and actually have seven units with it. The malevolence, saying it gets the three geo ships. And it gets the two droid ships. Um, this ship only really needs to be level 5. And it is a great counter for a lot of other fleets. Um, but you get to level 5. What I suggest is getting this one to level 5 first. You throw these ships on there. You do that. And then switch to ne Negotiator. And then try to get that to 7 stars. Then you get two pretty good fleets. And then like I said, the Malevolence can counter a whole bunch of different things. Or do a stall tactic. If you, th if you don't want really to use the Millennium Falcon for the Rebel fleet. You can throw the Million Falcon in there, and then they can't target it. And then you just 
build up uh, droid, uh, Vulcan droids and just keep going at them. And they just keep spawning and just keep attacking and they can't attack the Millennium Falcon to get rid of it. They have to attack the other ones first. After that, you do have your capital ships. These are the best ships. All right. Best fleets in the game and not needing much at all to be amazing. So once you do unlock these, this would be in your in your mid to late game scenarios. Unless you're going for my new farming guide, which has you getting the executor pretty much first before you do anything else. Um, with the profundity, it is guaranteed a mid to late game because you're going to need a whole bunch of characters that don't really tie into anything really well at the beginning. But once you get to that mid game, you'll start having more of those um, fleets or characters and stuff unlocked and around that relic level. So with the Executor, in my opinion, is the second best fleet in the game. Um, whenever you do unlock it, you'll throw the Razor Crest on it. You'll throw the Hound's Tooth on it. And basically the other Bounty Hunter ships, uh, the Hound's Tooth, Boba Fett's, and IG-88's. And then we have the best ship in the game. It can easily counter any executor ship fleet out there in GAC. And it is the main counter for itself as well. Um, and with that, you basically use Rebels, the Millennium Falcon, the Outrider, uh, the Y-Wing Rebel, um, and the two Rebel fleets with Hera and all them. Like I said, those are the fleets of the game. Fleets are one of the most important aspects that a lot of people overlook. Um, it can be easily from something that can get you refreshes, crystals, unlocks. Um, once you have a good fleet, it can also shut down GAC to where they can't get past your fleets on defense to full clear. And you can still full, full clear them because you have that in the backing holding them up. Um Anything you could do to help out in GAC, crystal wise, stuff like that is a beneficial to especially to new players. Uh, so just not hold out on these fleets. This is some of the best things you can do for your account. Um, I hope this video helps you out. If it does, please feel free to hit us with a like and subscribe. And throw some comments in there. Tell us some stuff you like about it, stuff you want to see. Um, me and Empress Celia are out. Later.